It's a world of culinary talent with the tasty delicacies from China to Venezuela. These 12 chefs, all from their country's embassies in Washington, are doing their best to impress a panel of judges and more than 400 guests at this year's Embassy Chef Challenge. But the annual challenge is more than just a competition. It's also a fundraiser for Cultural Tourism DC, a coalition of more than 230 cultural, heritage and community-based organizations. The group's executive director, Linda Harper, says all embassies are invited to participate in the challenge. It's somewhat first come, first serve, but we do try to get a geographic component to it. Uh, DC has more embassies than any other city in the world, so it's a great opportunity to really explore the cuisine and the culture that's here. In this competition, embassy chefs bring the distinct flavors of their own countries. Jordan Dimitrov, the chef at the Bulgarian embassy, has prepared a layered dish with colors of the Bulgarian flag, white, green and red. This is something that we found out about, we like the idea and that's why we decided to participate. And it's always good to be able to compare your skill with the skill of other chefs here in Washington DC. For Jamel Amroun, the Iraqi embassy's chef, it was 400 servings of a traditional eggplant dip called baba ganoush. It's a challenging. It's a challenging compared with a different culture of cooking. Chef Lars Pessy of the Royal Danish Embassy took top honors for this year's event. But Chef José Luis Fernández from the Embassy of Peru won the People's Choice Award for his traditional Peruvian ceviche, which was quickly gone. The influences and the heritage that has been left by other cultures that had migrated to Peru, they make the Peruvian, the, the Peruvian cuisine special. Kinski Serhi, the chef at the Ukrainian embassy, says the challenge is a great opportunity to learn new things about other cultures. You see a lot and you have the opportunity to exchange views among the chefs that represent different countries and get something new and uh, keep that knowledge for the next competition. Uh, we're bringing the chefs together. They don't have a clue who each other are. And so it's created sort of a camaraderie among the chefs themselves, as well as letting them really show what's going, what, what they're doing every day and what sorts of food they're preparing and what the city's like. This was the third edition of the Chef's Challenge, which also includes a silent auction. The proceeds will go to support such activities as Passport DC, a month-long celebration of international culture in the nation's capital. I'm Raleigh Reisovich, VOA News, Washington.